uh, our daily uh, sorry uh, this is our weekly analysis of markets for the next week ahead but we do this every day we do nifty and bank nifty usually sometimes we venture into other things when things look interesting so without further ado let's get started with today's uh, edition and let me just insert some rows and columns and all that for some reason on occasions i forget to do this so tomorrow is 10th of june so it's right right <clears throat> so the first thing of course uh, charts supremely interesting charts uh, nifty formed bearish harami confirmation and a bearish bullish sorry bullish mar harami confirmation doji and a bullish margozo it looks like nifty is out of the channel right so on week strong weekly candle which indicates that nifty might have broken out of the channel but there is a reverse story nifty strong daily bullish maru bozu candle nifty might have broken out on the upside waiting for confirmation however there is a reverse which is the weekly candle this is a hanging man i mean so this it's it's a little confusing because on the one hand it is a hanging man on the other hand it's also a very unusual hanging man to the point that one can even think this is an inverted hammer so this is a hammer because it has witness support from below right so i don't want to judge if it's a hanging man or a uh, it's a little see 70 80% it's a hanging man but it's a little irresponsible to call it a hanging man simply because see normally the hanging man's appear like what this is what a hanging man looks like right hanging man so if you look at the candlestick of a hanging man usually this is what it looks like right uh, but and you can see it right this is what it looks like we know this this is hanging man but this is not that hanging man right this is a very unusual hanging man so i am very tempted to say hanging man which is a reversal candle but uh but i don't really want to commit to it because it's a little bit irresponsible to commit to it but weekly looks like a hanging man but an unusual one unusual one right very very unusual one we don't see this kind of hanging man hanging man candle usually bank nifty is uh, above the middle of the channel and uh, inside the so bank nifty is a very different dynamic this is not a cha channel but this has been a wedge uh, but bank nifty is also forming undoubtedly uh again i want to say hanging man but i don't have the commitment to say hanging man simply because this is like a very unusual hanging man i can even call it inverted hammer because it has taken support from all sorry hammer because it has taken support from all sorts of uh, uh, buying zones below right bank nifty also forming an unusually large hang ah hanging man right so uh, if next week close is if this week close is below both indices can be bearish this is the first point we are taking away else there could be a violent breakout up move option chain yaar aise halat mein kya option chain dekhenge yaar but let's let's look at it objectively no no man's land 
23,000 is a support, 23,500 is somewhat of a resistance. Right now, it is no man's land. Uh, 23,000 support, 23,500 resistance. Nothing much in between. PCR is very misleading now simply because this is a but 0.7 around the ATM and 1.1 overall. Participant option data that is going to be a total. Huh. Retail is short put 3 lakh. That's very interesting. Mm. So FIA is neutral on calls, slightly uh, uh, long puts. Uh, pro is slightly short call, slightly short put. Retail is slightly long call, kind of, I mean, decently short put, right? So FIA is neutral on calls. long 1.7 l puts client sorry pro is short calls short 1 l calls and short one L puts client is long one L calls and short three L puts. Participant futures data. This is going to be very interesting. FIA is trimming their futures. Client is trimming their. <coughs> so basically, FIA short 2L, DIA hardly anything. Pro long 60K, client slightly above 1 lakh. Client, sorry, 60k. Client long 1L plus. Quickly looking at comments. Background noise due to fan. Yes, that is true. I should turn it off. Okay. Uh, puts RIP. Yeah, probably. Who knows? And stock data. If I bought 4,400 crores, verdict, make or break, it is either a violent last leg up move or a let me not call last leg, let me not make judgments like that or a retracement back to 22,000 territory. <clears throat> so one of these is uh, for sure happening. Either it's a violent move or this. Uh, so trades uh, wait and watch for tomorrow. If the channel breaks, uh, move can be big. And quick, in which case, play with bull call spreads. If not, uh, uh, with short term bull call spreads, there will be 
the protract uh, move back to channel play with longer term bear put spreads right i mean this is it right so this is so and see the one thing which probably none of us should do is jump into a position right now because this is an unusual candle i have never seen any candle like this in my last 15 years of whatever i did this is crazy this is such a big candle i've never seen anything like this i don't want to gamble into this candle again you look at monthly candle on week one it might look like a hanging man but we are yet to see anything for so don't jump into a monthly candle now that's a bad idea with this candle if i don't even know whether to call it a dragonfly og a hanging man or even a hammer and i'll tell you why i am saying a hammer because all of these are support zones right so buying has happened here although classically definition says it's a hanging man but that hanging man should have ideally ended see if i were to purely call it a hanging man that hanging man should have uh, ended somewhere around here the tail should be somewhere around here right 22 23000 should have been the bottom of the hanging man but this thing is like really really long so unusual times unusual candles best to not speculate and wait for confirmation therefore if this thing sustains above so if tomorrow we see price action sustaining above the previous all time high which is the exit pole high probably there will be some more up move and that will be very quick and violent it's best not to bet against it right uh, but um, so I, again it's a very violent quick up move if it's going to be so it's a very bad idea to uh, uh, sorry 60k 60k so it's a very bad idea to bet against uh, uh, such a big violent up move which is going to come quickly so i don't think it's a good idea to jump into a trade before seeing what will happen with the channel right now jate jate we'll also look at one interesting thing which is our usual gold I, if i'm not mistaken uh, yeah gold has started slightly softening from the top in usd terms indian government yield should be up sorry price bond price huh that's strange it's down it's down around so oh, that's weekly candle weekly of course will be down because of the election so it's still sustaining somewhere around here and uh, usdnr usdnr actually took a hit and it went up 8350 almost yeah so this basically everything is wait and watch nothing has really shown a clear direction amit is saying Arijit has said a very interesting point. Negative PRD, I guess you are talking about the divergence in RSI. Yeah, I know. Sooner or later it has to go down. But yeah, kab se khade hai, yaar. Like we have been waiting for this going down forever. So it's just that I don't really want to. Uh, yeah. Take a gamble on this. So anyway. Um, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual, please take care and keep your capital safe.